Hey guys, this is Amar from Amar the Analyst. So in the last lectures, we learned how to do the dashboard on Power BI and we are almost done with the visualizations, with formatting and everything and we are all set to publish our dashboard. So here we got the publish link on the home page of Power BI. So once we click on this link, it would us it would ask us to enter an email so i am entering my email in case you don't have an account with power bi then you can totally create one from the same website from which we have downloaded power bi let me show you basically from okay from power bi dot microsoft.com this is the website from where we have downloaded the software and on this from the same website we can get our account we can start for free or we can purchase the paid version but you don't have to purchase the paid version why would you you just it is asking me to sign in because i'm already somehow signed up but once you click on try free button it would ask you for an email and you can use your professional email that is linked with a professional domain and uh, that I'm using one actually right now. So or you can also enroll uh, in as a student. You can use your student ID from where you can get the chance to get publish your dashboards and get a shareable link from Power BI. Otherwise, you have to purchase it. There is only two options. So here we are going back to our dashboard. Here I'm entering my email. I'm entering my password. By the way, I just forgot my password and I had to ask for a code. So who remembers their passwords anyway? So we all are the same. So. Uh, okay, isolate the water cells. Select, okay. So Okay, so I have successfully published my dashboard. So here is my dashboard. Okay, so yes. From here you can see that I can totally use the filter thing over here and get this board in front of my employers, my clients to show my work, you know, to flaunt what I have done so far and so you guys can flaunt. The map thing usually worked up so it's not enable, uh, you know for the organization's email that i'm using right now but it would be available on yours in case you are using some student email or so basically this one is the shareable link that we can use copy let me show you how it is the shareable link let me paste it here for now i'm logged in but when, when i logged out then still i can view this uh, my report from this link because it's a live link to view your reports so you can totally check it out yourself uh, and do it the way you like bye bye